Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this spreadsheet, I'm going to show you how to use the sum functions. So we're going to look at sum, sum if, and sum ifs. So on the screen, I've got several examples. I'm going to go through them one by one. So first of all, the sum function to add up a list in LibreOffice Calc. You get to the bottom or where you want the answers to be. It doesn't have to be at the bottom. And then you really want to use the auto sum function, which is there, sum. The list will be selected automatically by the computer, but it may not be correct. In this case, it is correct. But if it isn't correct, you will have to select it yourself. Check it up here on the input line C3 to C14. That's what I want. You click the tick or you can press enter. I accept that. That's correct. So if any of these changes, if I type 50 in there, this just picks it up at the bottom. That's a change. Now to do a running total, so I want that to say 50 and then that to say 100 and then that to say 130, running total. You use the sum function again, sum, C3 to C3. But what we need to do in this example is lock the first C3 with the F4 function key, which will put dollar signs around it. Watch what happens here. Tick. Still says 50. But when I pull that down one cell, it now says 100. And if I click on that cell with the 100 in it, it says C3, which is that first cell, locked, but to C4. And if I pull this one down, now I'll say to C5. So basically you're locking the first cell, C3, and then every other cell expands as you pull it down to the bottom. So that's now going down to C14. So that's how you do a running total with the sum function. Now the sum if allows you to add up things by category. So what I've done here is I've done a little table and I want to know if from these two lists how much have I spent on gas, car, water, electric, food, etc. So what you do is you go where you want the answers to be again and this time it's going to be equals sum if. Now if you click on the fx there next to this these these are the common functions but fx gives you all the functions and you type for sum you can see there's sum if there and sum ifs so we're going to use those two in a minute but so i know i know that i can type that gives you the example there gonna get away from that you've also got that option over here on the right functions same sort of thing so I can type that equals sum if, open the bracket, and it gives me the little help. What do you want to look down? Well, I want to look down the items, down to water. I need to be doing a comma next. What's the criteria? Well, the criteria is that gas in cell I2, comma. If I find gas in this list, I want to add it up in this list. And then I can close the bracket and click the tick. And I get the total for gas. Now the problem with that is if I pull that across the car, I get zero because the um, cell references have moved from G and H to H and I. There's nothing in I, so I can't pull that across. What I would have to do is dollar sign the two columns, which I'll do with the F4 key again, just to show you. And this is not the way I'm going to end up doing this, but I'll just show you this. So that locks so that locks that column and that column. With the dollar sign now that should work pull it across happy teddy bear now i'm going to delete all of that and do it slightly different because i'm going to name this column item this is the name box where i'm typing now and i'm pressing enter to name it that is going to be called cost enter now i can use those named named ranges in the summit function So sum if look down item, comma, if you find what's in I2, comma, add up cost. And then tick that. We get the same answer, but now I don't need to worry about dollar signs, can just pull that over. Like that. I always use that to be honest. Faffing about with dollar signs is slightly irritating, plus it confuses people. Next one, sum ifs, 
so that was only one criteria this is going to allow me to have multiple criteria so I've got some words here access and leads um, let's put that left aligned actually what I'm going to do is put a submit function so I want to know how many courses how many courses access in this example were in leads so we've got access one so let's go for Excel because there's more of them let's do Excel so this time um, equals some ifs with an S so what am I adding up I'm adding up that list comma if this list comma is equal to that comma and this list comma is equal to leads close the bracket click the tick so I get a hundred thousand Excel if I put that back to access there was only one of them um, leads access 32,000 so you see how that works so you've got multiple criteria now that formula looks quite long again because we've used um, cell references as opposed to names so I could highlight this list and call it course enter and this list and call it location enter and then change this formula so we're looking down um, still looking I could call that a, a mount as well actually so let's call that amount so we're looking down amount so I'll change that there to amount and then we're looking at column P which I call course is I think I call it courses with an S so you find out courses I'll leave T3 as it is and then this is going to be location this little range here Q location and I'll leave U3 as it is click the tick get a name because I must have called that course did I I did without an S I knew that so name doesn't mean the form is wrong it means it doesn't recognize one of the names so there you go now it's working now another thing obviously I don't want to keep typing Excel access and word in there or Leeds Newcastle so I want to create what's called a validation or valid validity list can't even say it so validity that's the word I want to create a list in there not just access so I'll go in there it says all values I want to change that to list and then I need to type my list so I'll go access word Excel for that one I get a little drop down list there's the three items so I'll select word in leads and I need to do the same for this one locations now you can actually select a list but I'm just going to type this one Newcastle Leeds Glasgow and Manchester that's my four cities so now word in Glasgow none word was in Leeds let's go for Excel in Leeds so we'll go Excel in Leeds and you get the the answer there so that's a sum is function very flexible and I tend to do little tables like this so it makes it easier and you can see what's going off and the validity validity rule validity really hard word for me to say that or validation rule is makes it easier even still so hopefully that was of use to you uh, some function some if function some ifs function and a running total sum function there thank you for your time i'll see you in the next one